Asia, it's so easy for theme, films like this to be so action orientated uh, and they sort of disregard the need for character development. But I found every character in this so well fleshed out and multi-layered. How important was it for you that that was the case going into going into this? Oh, absolutely. I think that it, more than anything, it, it's sort of the process dictates um, that. And I I wasn't I wasn't like presented with the movie as there's this Michael Bay movie and it's an action movie. That wasn't the way that it came to my life. The way that it came to my life was my agent called me and she said, I have a script for you. And I said, who's directing? She said, don't ask me anything. Just read the script. <laughs> and it was really funny. Of course, you understand. Right. She was like, just read it. And I was like, oh, God. And she's like, just read it. And I did. And, you know, the first few pages, we see Cam just doing these things and we start getting introduced to this character. And I remember waiting for like, when is she going to fall in love with the guy? When is she going to fall in love with the guy? It has to be coming. And it was like never coming. And and then it was like getting better and better and better and better. And I was like, wow, this is awesome. And then she's like, Michael Bay's going to do it. I was like, Michael Bay is going to do this. Um, and then I had a meeting with him and, and what really inspired me is like, I, I just didn't really have a, an idea of Michael Bay in general. And I had been presented with this incredible person who was like very, his conviction of really bringing characters. He's like, that's all he talked about. I was expecting him to talk about like explosions and cars and stuff like that. And all he talked about was characters, 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 what we can bring to the character, what an actor can bring to the character. And then I was like, oh, wow, this guy cares. And so, yeah, that was sort of how it presented. And I was just so lucky that I got to play her as one of my favorite characters. Yeah, I think Michael Bay gets a bad rep because he's got, he's, he's, I think we, he's such an underrated craft, what he does. Putting a film together like this, the technical mind you need to visualize what you want and put it into practice is really hard. I mean, how was it working with him and seeing him in, in his element on, on a movie set? Jake said that actually the other day, and it was a real, like a really honest, um, you know, point of view and what. Michael Bay is an auteur and like people use the word auteur for, you know, high end cinema, but action also has a auteurs and he's an auteur of action and not anyone, not just anyone can make movies the way Michael Bay makes them. It's like, it takes a lot. There's so many things, so many pieces. And he, you know, what I really admire about Michael and what I experienced within working with him is Michael has been doing this for longer than I probably have been alive. But also, if we really look back in history of his movies, Michael has been one of the few act directors that has supported diversity from the scratch. Before there was a conversation about it, before it became super highly aware, he's just been doing it his entire life. From every movie you watch, I mean, no one was putting leading black men the way that he did on bad boys when he did it, you know, and he set the tone for diversity. If you look back in every movie he's done, he has Latinos, uh, black community, Asia, like he runs the gamut. And so I, I felt like as you're right, he gets a bad rep and my personal experience was good. You know, he's a strong personality and I'm a strong personality. We're all strong personalities, but I think that ultimately he really respects people that come in with a point of view with a clear conviction of what they want and someone that wants to collaborate. He likes to collaborate and find and play around. And I think he got really lucky because everyone in this cast is quite like that. You know, Jake is the most willing to play and Yaya is as well. And, you know, our, our supporting cast is one of the best supporting cast I've gotten to work with. You know, you're getting working with Garrett Dylan Hunt, who's a beast, I think. And everyone did such a good job in their roles. So my final question is, because I think in the early scenes in particular, you were so incredibly comforting as a paramedic. I really believed you'd been doing that job for years and that you'd seen you'd seen it all. Was that kind of thanks to the script or did you take it upon yourself to really research that profession and give you that authority and calmness that you need, I suppose, when speaking to, to victims of accidents? I did. I did feel like I had to prepare a lot, you know. I'm clueless. Like before this movie, I was clueless. I didn't know anything about, you know, the medical industry. I mean, my mom's a dentist, but like a fake dentist, she like retired before I was even <laughs> born. So she would hate to hear that, but it's true. And so I was like, I can't, you know, the setup of this movie is Cam is the best of what she does in all LA. So I was like, oh, wow. That's, I mean, quite surreal. Obviously there's no way that I would be the best. <laughs> to be honest, but I felt like, yeah, I can do this. I can take on to this 
and, and try my best and preparing is part of that. And in general, as an actor, you have to prepare for your roles as much as possible, because I just truly believe that when you have sort of very, very clear understanding of your character and who they are and their natural, you know, day to day, whether that's an EMT or a bank robber, whatever you're playing, those things have to become such a second nature for you. So by the time that you get to set, everything comes across with conviction and you can really focus on conveying emotion. Um, and so, yeah, and the process was incredible. I mean, I was working intimately with EMT, surgeons, nurses, firefighters that were educating me step-by-step step how things go, the surgery, how it would work, the words, what would you actually say, et cetera. It was like going to medical school. Mm. Brilliant. Well, it worked fantastic in the movie. Well, thank you so much for your time today and good luck with the, with the release of the film. Yeah. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? Indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!